Hello everyone, it's my Make Revolution Wall State. It's episode 12, believe it or not. <laughs> we are improving. And today we're going to be talking about who pays buyer's agent. That's the question I get a lot um, when I work with first home buyers or when I'm in the open house and I talk to the um, buyers and they will ask me how much you charge or when we are in the process they'll be like, hey, you know, we didn't ask how much you charge. So it's an interesting question and then I, I the best way I can explain I'll try to be as short as, as I can but what happened is actually in most scenarios seller will be paying the buyer's agent um, and that's how it works uh, so when for example if I'm a seller's agent I'll go to the listing presentation and then when I talk to the um, sellers I will uh, will go over everything of course and then We'll sit down and talk about commission and that's very variable uh, usually it's five or six percent uh, but it can be a different you know amount really uh, because sometimes seller will buy a house with me so i'll definitely give them some break and there is a different situation so and then that uh, commission um, it's that's actually between the seller and my brokerage and then um, that commission is divided and split between buyer's agent brokerage and you know and sellers so what happened like when for example buyer will come and they will want to go directly to the seller's agent uh, thinking that they will save some and get better deal but in reality that commission is already set up um, and sometimes you know the listing agent won't even have a, a room to negotiate um, you know and, and reduce their commission and because actually they will do they even if the buyer is agent is unrepresented so because sellers agent represents sellers and so if you are a buyer and you want to go directly to the sellers agent to trying to get the deal of course then you'll be un unrepresented and then but still seller's agent has to do all the work like contracts inspection you know they, they have to kind of guide you so it, it is a lot of work so that's the reason we have a buyer's and seller's agent and most of the seller's agent won't give you any discount you know just because you're not using a buyer's agent uh, because they already have they already get you know set up the fee so there is no reason for them to kind of give you um, a deal i mean there is a different scenario maybe you know um, but in general i'm talking in generally so and you know my biggest advice to the first home buyers is have a buyer's agent have somebody who is um, available who is going to show you homes when you know very flexible and uh, who will work for you for what's the best for you um, also will be there for you um, and um, if you need one <laughs> please call me or it's zero two nine eight two four five two but um, you know if if in, in case if you need of course um, so uh, in most let's get to the um, subject we're talking so in most scenario you don't pay a buyer's agent so it's a free um, free for you and you really need somebody to be there for you and guide you and give you like um, there's so many reasons you, you have to have a, a buyer's agent and if you go back to look some of my episodes you can see the benefits of using uh, having an agent actually um, another thing uh, there is a scenario for example if it's a for sale by owner and if you come to me and say hey Maya I really like this house and actually like when I serve, when I work with buyers, I'll also look for for sale by owners homes, and sometimes for sale by owners, in most scenario they will pay me. Like it won't be a full commission, but they will work with the agents. But sometimes they will say no, just have your buyers pay you. In that scenario, I might come back and say, hey, they don't want to pay me. Would you would you pay me? And then we can figure out what's happening. But that's that's really rarely and. Um, it could happen as I said but it's it's not uh, you know something that happens a lot so I think that will be it about uh, the fees and if you have any questions you know if you're shy <laughs> you can put a comment down uh, or you can directly message me 
um, if you don't want to call me, of course, but if you are, um, if you need an agent, I'm definitely here for you and uh, I'll be happy to be your guide and um, even if you need a buyer or seller's agent. Thank you.